But as far as I'm aware, we are back. Let's... Okay, 40 minutes of this stream. <coughs> oh, Scott, sorry. <coughs> oh. Slimes, I did the Sealy. Did that. Did under the house. Did the torches. I broke the three rock piles, I remember that. Come on. I did the rock one next to rock. I fought the hill of churls. I fought the dendro slimes. I shot the. Actually, hold on. Is that it? Yes, I think that would be it. Actually, hold on. Come on. Okay, so let's go check the one that I think. Okay, now let's get to the... Okay, um, let's get to the... Oh, if my brain can just not... Hold on, did I do the daily check-ins as well? I think I did. Oh god, I have too many tabs open. Come on. Oh, man, it's first day for the next previous one. Okay, now. Okay, come on, click one. There we go. Okay, and that's the mail. And this event is going to be ending quite soon. Oh, hold on. Uh let's see. Let's see our conquest. Alright, a new star approach is to be act three. So actually I am kinda close to doing that. Do I just want to try to get to as far as I can into the game? Body map. Uh, hold on. Break the rocks, which is right about here. Am 
Okay. Oh, wait, here we are. One. Excellent. Oh, I was literally the last chest right before teleporting to a waypoint. Oh, that's fun. Okay, twenty twenty three. Oh, twenty twenty three. Follow Shelly Riches all the way over there. Okay. Come on. There we go. Time to act. Which I think is okay now. See Lee. Mint and also a sweet flower around. That's nice. There you are. Okay. Oh, oh wait, Quijon. Mainland is at 39%. 30, Masks? No, just arrowheads. Mask? Yes. Let's see how to a, a fight the fucking dental slide again. I don't like the. F Hold on, these shits. Go. None of this will go to waste. You say that almost every other time, and it probably will sit in the damned inventory or in my inventory for a while. Yes, animal. Okay, so over here. Where over here, though? That's the better question. There. Okay. Okay, and and that's an Amico. Need the help of an elder, huh? Not really. What? What do you mean? I had the. So, asshole. Uh, 
Oh, 40. 40% already, right. that's nice. Either way, I am kind of curious how long it's going to take by doing just eight chests at a time. Come on. We'll see about that. Okay, got it this time. Okay. Okay. Cut them up. That is, I'm assuming. Yes, there. Okay. That is over here. That's at that tower. And I can see the chest through the tower. Int. Body enough. Hello. It's the fire. Rain outlines your fate. is definitely downgraded. Rain outlines your fate. Yep. You're in for a little and shot. Blitz. Bonk. Can I climb this or no? I can. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It is weird that some of those towers you can't actually climb onto, which is a bit dumb of a design, but so be it. Fight the hilly churls. Ah, oh, over there. Okay. Time to act. Right over there. And I think, could, yeah, that's the chest. Anyway. Hello. You've been a naughty boy. Done. What do you think, cutie? Okay. Fought the hilly trolls. Break the three hurt hilly troll targets. Uh, I think every. I think the people who made the guide. Just by the fact that it makes exploration so much easier. And that is all the exploration that is required for the day. 24. 4. 41. 41. Done. And then. Oh, wait, I don't even have chat on. Uh, I'm just also hearing a TV. No. Do you have the chat overlay on? <sighs> of course I didn't. Yep. Thank you for Add ask. Second one. Dispatch again. Let's check what I can do for the weekly. Three requests, three bounties, ley lines, I can all do. Uh, Mora, I could still do. 
They do still do all of those. This is only a literal hour. Hello. Flora. Yes. I can get more, that's nice. Okay. I just buy out your entire stock because again you're probably gonna need a lot of these for some point for something at some point for something if this but honestly I could just do that all in one day it's a more efficient thing to do okay That should be good. It's up there, which means I need to get up. Time to act. Actually, hold on. What do I have? Oh, a f wait, a fourth? Two. Okay, that's interesting. Cho has his burst up again. That's nice. I am thinking about flat out just having this account being the only Genshin account, at least that I have. I and it is a bit weird since the current thing that I'm thinking is the fact that again, it's getting really tiring of having. Basically, two Genshin accounts that I'm constantly doing service on, and at least the way that I was going to be solving that, at least the start, was to quite literally finish the other account, or finish the cash, casual or like wishable account, but the problem comes in with that is the simple fact that, again, there's going to be more content added every X amount of time. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> and uh, do I have you at enough HP? Yes, I do. Just barely, though, probably. Eight million? Oh, we are probably like one away from eight million. I could just use the teleport. It's closer. Oh. Damn. Ugh. Anyway. Over to here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is a ruined guard. Uh. Now... Here's the next ley line. How much? Well, 120, but... I'm close to... Oh, damn it. That was laggy. And almost done. Oh, 
Now we're done. Okay, and another bit of... Hold on, are we at 8 million? We're at 8 million! Honestly, I don't know how long I'm actually going to continuously make... You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Two and three. I don't actually know how long I'm going to be doing that. I might just continuously do Mora for as long as I'm at this current world level. Which is, now that I say that, is I'm probably going to be at this world level for months on end, at least. And that's not even taking into account the fact that I'm going to have to do... Uh, that I'm going to also have to do the... Uh, what is it called? Like, some app, some app for the archipelago thing says, like a... Uh, not an annual, but like a near annual thing, I think. So I've already gone through two of them. One of the first ones that I have, I mean, this is already ridiculous as it is. I, I could probably, at this point, level up easily all the way to adventure rank 50. I'm not saying 55, since I know for a fact that 55, well, I mean, adventure rank 55 is the hard cap for stuff, because it ends up kind of becoming almost a biblical feat, trying to get anywhere from from 55 to 56, 57, 58, 50, no, from 55 to 56, then to 57, then up to 60 in total, and if you're at 60, 60, you've basically completed the game. There's not much of a way to properly portray how much effort that is required, basically, just to do that. Okay, come on. That is annoying. Done. No, my sword. Hold on, do I have is are you it? No, that's enough. And that's more. Oh my god, it is just insane thinking about how much I've been playing this account alone. Consider, hold on. Uh, well, not character, it'd be character archive. Let's hold on. Basically, first day that this account was made was November 5th, 2023. That was the first stream. Huh. First stream that I got was God, and I mean again, it's February. Well, it's February, actually almost March practically. March literally in, in twelve minutes. Oh wait, I'm almost done. I'm almost done actually with the amount of time that I'm allotting myself for this, and of course I forget. <laughs> So many mob drops. Actually, hold on. How many mob drops have I gotten to? Why do I have 19? Why do I have 19? I should have gotten 18, I think. Also, I miscounted the rewards and I got 19. Eh. Five out of five. Three out of five. One out of five. Two out of one. 
three. Ah. Oh, fuck off. Done. Okay, how many do I have left? 40. I have two other ley lines to do. Then once I get that done, I'm going to talk to Zhongli. Get more progress. Oh. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. <sighs> Out of love, just a little thing of people constantly advertising shit with bots or fake accounts. I mean, the good news is I won't have to worry about having tre treasure hoarder insignias. Well, actually, how many do. I mean, have this, but. Yeah, 7 of these, 40, 130. Huh. Okay. And then one left, which is not going to be a whole lot. Hold on. 8.1 million Mora. And that's not even taking into account the fact that I haven't done any of Dragon Spine, Dragon Spine exploration, or that I haven't gotten much exploration anywhere else. God, Sumer's going to be. Sumer's going to be my Everest. Again. Because of the fucking R and R quest, you know, if if Sumer didn't have the R and R quest be literally twelve hours long, I think I'd do a better time of it. Blitz. I think every player would have a better time of it. Witness the power of Since it is a bit ridiculous to have a quest take literally half a day when a lot of the games that I that I think well not. Actually, I don't know, but it is ridiculous to have a 12-hour quest basically to unlock two areas and... Oh, free wish. Uh, but regardless, it's kind of ridiculous to have that much be... That much, either way. Uh, and let's see what we get. Okay, okay, weapon or character? Weapon or character? Diona? Oh my god, that's a Shangling constellation. Hold on, how. Oh, e C1! Have the power resist for 15 for 6. Okay. No meets fire. Attack. Last applies and blows stats into the opponent for 2 seconds. Explode. Explosion will occur once. This duration ends. Dealing. Oh. Hi. You don't want to leave this closed. Okay. Can you turn the light off and then stop turning the fingers? Okay. Before. The air. What do you mean? There's an circulation, honey. Uh, okay, there's an air vent in here. What? There's an air vent in here. Not like that, no. I, yeah, you've got, you've got the one. Yeah, I've got one. But one doesn't work by itself. Air that comes in there has to go someplace. Yeah, and it can go under the door. Hmm? It can go under the door. Some can, yeah. And and that's probably enough. Be close at any rate. I don't care if you need it.
Okay. Either way, that was good. And that's also another step closer to Bennett. Actually, hold on. Uh, what is it called? A uh, star glitter character rotation. When's the next time? Uh, August. No. Oh, May and November. Okay. Okay. And that's all that now. Okay, so either way, I'm pretty much gonna actually hold on. Okay, so I'm pretty much just After gonna. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon traveler, how does it feel to know that I, <laughs> I see? So you're that sort of person. <clears throat> Not a bad thing. Okay. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Leo's 3,700 years of divinity. Okay. Organizing the right of party should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Not really. In fact, actually, I'd say this is one of the least substance things, considering... You're literally the person we're organizing this funeral for. Liyue is the most prosperous of the seven nations, defended by deities and ruled oh, by the okay. Chi As such, the diplomatic okay. maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. I wouldn't know. I don't know. <laughs> It'll come back. If you're still awake, I'll come get you. Okay. Okay. Mingguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is, in all likelihood, why Child wants to make use of the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's connections. <sighs> huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? You know, probably the fact that it makes him look less suspicious by proxy. I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. Eh. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. Yep. Two minutes from midnight. So that. Anyway. Actually, how. Okay, how to unlock. Oh, what is it called? Uh. You. Oh, Leeway Reputation. Act 2. Requires the completion of Act. Or Act 2? company for a while. Wow, I could get that done really quick. Later. This is a bit weird. Well, honestly, I'll probably be thankful for it. Because I might not be able to actually get... This all the way done until... If I had to take a guess, maybe tomorrow night? Welcome to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. That's not even Jade. That's 
geostones or whatever the hell they're called. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows, you just might strike it rich. Betting? Nocta Lucas Jade. Oh. Of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Nocta Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. Okay, I mean, it's a bit weird after you just said, just kind of stopped doing the tourist hustling, but... These three pieces really do, but how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer... Oh? And that would be... Another knows too. Well, one of us surely will remember. We are out of Kiwi Dry Tree. Uh, okay, there's a box of it in the garage. In the garage? Yes. The plastic box that right ne that's right next to the washer. No, that's dry... That, that's... Dog food. That's cat food. Mm. That the the one that's right next to the washer in the garage. It's cat food. Washer? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the washer. No, that's that's that is dog food forever. No, we stopped cat keeping the dog food out there. Well, I'll check it. Okay. Thank you for curing me. I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with such panache. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That... Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? That's true. Oh, it is as you say. I... Huh? How do you not think about more when buying things? Uh, and it comes later on the fact that, like, ah, yes, I forgot to create Mora as a surplus or a stock of Mora. It's like, oh, yeah, but it's so much Mora. And it's like, I, I do have, like, 8.1 million Mora on me at the moment. If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in... Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all... What? Sounds like he's loaded. So loaded. That he does no need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, evaluating the quality of Nocta Lucas Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Nocta Lucas Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. When you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! Mm. To think it's that easy to get cheated! Yes. You'd be surprised. A city of contracts is a city of people finding fucking loopholes and things to get around said contracts. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. Eh. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. Not Nocta Lucas Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. Is this normal life for a high-class businessman? I have Gentlemen? imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Mm. Priceless, huh? Yeah, since you, we're never going to use it again. We're back to buy some rocks! Uh, burn them! You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? Then can we get some small samples, like sa like leaflets? That would... well... fine. As you wish, then. How about yeah. this? I can take a small sample of all three. 
I'll take Don't worry. Yeah. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. You sample. No, they're I mean they're stone and if you're meant to literally put them into a forge, they're not going to they're not going to go with a little amount. Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Honestly, it is kind of impressive that I mean unless it's a really soft rock, but I mean like impressive that you did this with a knife. <laughs> oh, you flattered me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. Yeah, and that's fair. If I'd taken off even a bit more, it it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a rap. What sort of condition? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. It's also kind of interesting from the fact that I've played all throughout the entire game that genuinely, ah oh yes, we use pyro and then hydro, like as in synonyms for fire and water, because it seems like it's supposed to be, ah oh yes, we're using this is the word for fire and this is the word for water when everything else is still the same but then it just ends up being that i'm pretty sure characters refer to fire and water in their own separate terms oh oh sir to think you were this learned thank you for your understanding yep. strictly speaking asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair trade in well guess we just need to find a place to try this out i remember this spot in dupa uh the dalpaju dal the the dalpud gorge oh pyro uh, remembers uh, we once saw this big pot down at the data upa gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the meaty tribe it's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions yep. now let's <laughs> That does not look thin at all, really. That looks like actually, like glass thick, which isn't that hard to do. Well, not just that it's not hard to do. It's also not really thin. Either way, ah uh, yes, the most reasonable explanation. Not to find a. Not to find, uh, you know. It has a... been a long time since I last set foot in the nation of wind. Yeah. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liuat. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Snake wine. I, again, like, you're making it really hard for people not to think that you're, or at least me, well, I mean, that's also largely because I'm, well. It's the pot! It looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a bit impolite, but we gotta cut the line! Well, time to commit genocide on a small scale. Or mass murder, actually, would be the proper term. It kind of sucks that you don't actually get to. Ah, yes. Giant. Soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. Paimon, that that it's clear. Whatever this is, is clear pretty much. It's almost the same exact color. Well, either way, it's our lab now. We decided this was the best idea. This soup looks like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and. We're ready to go! Paimon will use pyro to keep making the pot hot. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier are... Isn't he literally... Hold on. Heat the pot or heat the bottom? I don't know. Luba, get them! It's... Yeah. 
and heat the pot. Whoa! That light came from the first map to Lucas Jade! Uh, Kelly trolls are surrounding us again! Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors! Let's take care of them and continue again after! I've already dealt with them. No shit. We did literally just come in, take their food, and... Oh, come on. You're... Oh, it's... Okay, that's why. There we go. Alright, last one, which is the third one. back over here. And I am curious. Hey, Paimon, I am already teleported in front of the shop, basically. You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods for you. Which of the The third. Exactly. That's the one. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Thank then you. We'll take a box of the third type. Done. All the same, uh, and pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucus chain for? Mm. Yep. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Yeah. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This, this means that Rex Lapis really is... It's weird how his hair, his weird rat ponytail, goes like that, and then down. Yes. Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. Yep. It is said that when our lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade... Alas. Alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to... Are you sure? You didn't want to... If not for our lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Uh, I... In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself. I for one believe that Liyue will continue to prosper as it always has done. So let's not get ourselves down just yet. All right, thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. I mean, you were basically giving it for a funeral for the literal god of your country, so... Hey, wait a minute! He said it was half price! Oh, right. I'm sorry. As I thought. Any what? Mora. Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. Uh, local Fleeway who doesn't have money on their mind. Oh, that won't do. This isn't some small sum. I have the money. It's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though, to be honest, it'd be alright. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. Remember to bring Mora next time. Also, the simple fact is, the fact that we've mentioned Mora already again when you don't have any on you, and you need to remember, or... <clears throat> it's revealed later in the quest that you could just materialize money with no issue and better yet since you realize you're going to be giving away this power you didn't bother to make you know a fun for yourself like i have 8.1 million you have currently zero you could make that number drop go up to a billion literal billion so you could spend the next x amount of time with no issues 
Please remember to bring I it next time, though. Best. You have my thanks. Hey, uh, so, okay, I can just. Uh. And we have this terrain. You're from friends far. Wait. Uh, you know what? In the other tab, I'm just gonna have one guy running. Just by okay. For the simple fact that it's just gonna be a good idea to get all the dailies out of the way first. Place. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for it. Ah, yep. yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewel smith's remuneration... Fingers crossed child will reimburse us. I guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. So, we're just using the scene of the crime to hold a funeral that that does not seem like a good idea Leo Achising have agreed to this arrangement okay that's better but that still doesn't mean that's a good idea but when something this big happened here should suspects although with that said since we got back from Dwayne Karst also the uh Rex Lapis vessel Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by Oh, wait, do I have both of them running? Oh, I do. I mean, uh, yeah, mute that for the bit. Who the murderer is. Uh, yeah. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already know. Surely they must have found all the evidence that there is to find here. Seems a bit too easygoing, though. These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Okay. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? It, it's the bank. The only mint in Liyue, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Yeah. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. You're the one who's bringing up something bad, just like... But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Because you're Morax Lapis in disguise. Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Chising, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. The Chishing provide the location and child the funds. They must have some ulterior motive. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. Yeah, that's not a comforting thing for the god of the said country to say. From the seat of the god, number one, and number two, do you realize how many people would take that as a free do thing to just exploit a person out of all their wealth? In Liyue, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Okay. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfume. Perfume? Yep. Do we buy them? No. Mm -hmm. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Yeah. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality, often used in brocade making. Its scent, however, is most elegant. And is a spe It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on high society again. <laughs> 
Okay. We shall not speak of the details right now. Follow me. We shall go to the merchants to purchase our ingredients. Yep. Yep. Always a fun thing, just going in a direct line to the objective marker. Shoppers. Oh, golden house maiden, valley weaver, and fate's yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. <laughs> My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Uh, please refrain from any further attempts to contribute. I guess I had it coming. Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Yep. Do let me know if you have any further thoughts. Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, these are fine specimens, excellently preserved. Just look at the abundant foliage here, and these stamens, glamorous as a maiden of the Golden House. This strain is an evergreen and mostly grows under complex hydrological conditions. By contrast, this variety thrives in any dark, damp location, often in large clusters. Morphologically, it is distinguished by the profusion of petals and densely packed stamens, though its powerful scent gives it away just as easily. Uh, okay, I, I... Lastly, this strain is quite the recluse. Unlike its exuberant cousins, flowers and foliage are minimal, and when in season, it has a subtle yet endure. Silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Leo's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. I feel like you just literally are probably recognized by at least a few merchants. It's like, oh yeah, you're probably God who's on retirement or reincarnation or whatever the hell this would be. It's just like, ah, yes, let's let him just have this. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was news even. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are. Oh, Mr. Zhang Li, you're waiting. I'll take them all. Again? How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural, but this silk flower purchase is not an analogous. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the seven. Okay. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. You wonder why. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do... Now that's settled. You forgot to bring money again? Zhang Li. I just want to be more surprised if he, he remembered. If I may interject, did I hear you say that these flowers are to be an offering to the Lord of Geo himself? Yes. Yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? It would be yep. bad luck to say it out loud. But I've been... Since these flowers will be used to glorify our Lord, they're free of charge. Just don't forget to pass on my regards. Good way of getting your name advertised. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I would be nobody if not for Rex Lapis. Yeah. If he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares, they'd only be worth a fraction of what I can sell them for. Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Ah, uh, yes. Not like you're pointing a red sign and says, This guy's the god on retirement now. Or at least prepping to go in retirement life for throwing him a retirement party. Thank you, boss. 
I think I speak for our skins. You were the one who forgot to bring money. Please, it's the yeah. So now that we've got the flag, ideally with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world problems. Hence, I need you to help by asking a. So this time we get to go. I will wait for you near the statue of the seven. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurers Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lauren. She's not. Ah uh, yes, time to act like a goddamn stalker for about twenty minutes. <clears throat> Just a second, my mouse not working. If I could speak, my mouse isn't working. Just a second. Yep. Any crystal? Uh, okay, that's not why we're here or asking. It's for a much more creepy reason. Oh wait, it just mutes all the audio, so it's not like I'm being clever. Shit. Do you know how to make... Well, hold on. Uh, fine. Do you know how to make perfume? <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Okay. I don't know what most that... Well, Pineapple thinks you smell amazing. Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. The truth is... Uh, no, they were for medicinal use. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Qi Ming. Qi Ming, okay. The fortune teller, right? I'm on remember. Thanks, Lon. See you around. Okay. Hello. Hello. How We've come to ask you a question. Do you know how to make perfume? Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Uh. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. Okay. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day. I'd agree with you on that and not because it's a well. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying R's homemade perfume? No. Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Eh. Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go find her. Wait, this is just the intel we need. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Oh, shit. Okay, I got myself into a tap of predicament. Let's just, uh... Teleport out. Okay. Now then, over to here. Ah, uh, yes, the most sus NPC I think we'll ever have. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. What? I oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet smelling lady. That's not okay, if I actually I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is snooping around. 
Why are you making it out like we're bad people? Why do you make it sound like we're stalkers specifically? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? A bespoke triple silk flower variety. Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet smelling ammunition. Is that it? It's for Rex Lapis. Oh, is that the best you could come up with? Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a- Zhang Li was right. People- As one of my favorite poems goes. Oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring. For come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. Okay. That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> in short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Okay. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? How about the kitchen, Shang Li? You mean Wan Mean Restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. Okay, now literally across the street. Hello. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to plead? What did you say? I meant make me proud as my assistant, obviously. Okay. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. Wait. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. This okay. water will do nicely. Yep. Now, I need you to extract perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Why the fuck was this dialogue introduced? I get that you're making a masturbation joke. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Okay. Now, take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Okay. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Got it. I'm only ever going to need to use this crafting bar to pee. Did I kill a bird earlier? I mean, either way, my floor chicken now. And last one. Alrighty then. Back to the restaurant. Wow, this is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage. Oh, never mind. I already got that ball. done, so I don't even have to worry about that. Yeah, I, I have Honkai Impact in the... Or, not Honkai Impact, uh, Honkai Star Rail in the... Okay. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. Yep. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please, focus on control and don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Okay. All three perfumes are ready, and you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Okay, I told you, it's not like that. Anyway, 
Shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Either way, it'll be useful things to say, sure. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes. The first choice for daughters of high society. Yep. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent. Like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. I... I think I got it. Good. Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? Okay, at, at this point, I don't know what kind of innuendo you want me to be. I'll leave you with some parting words. <sighs> Sex? One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. So I'm assuming you're implying that I'm trying to have a hidden polycule. Or what is more accurately cheating and pimping. <laughs> Come and... Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Either way, the one that I can just teleport to. Hey, hi, Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, we brought the perfumes. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Yes. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Yeah, you're you're just thinking about the fact that you're not going to be a god anymore. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. I get it. You're Rex Lapis. Don't have to divulge any more detail. <laughs> Well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Three sets! Yeah. Thank you both. Let us offer them up. Yeah. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by young... This is the second kind. It's got a... The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Like the dusk mist, and it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, huh. what was that? Guess the final answer is number three. That's the one older ladies left us. That mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? Old man, so like fifty percent correct. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. Ah, uh, gender fluid, I see. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... The one that is a man, a 30s, well, not 30s, like, I mean, I say 30s because that's how supposedly old he's supposed to look, but I mean, like, mid to late 30s. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. Well, we do need to see the Exuvia. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Uh, part of the quest that takes too damn long. Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Yeah, am I going to be able to lay out? Sure, but aren't you going to? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Okay. Man, why is he got to be so secretive this time? Because he doesn't want to blow his cover as the god of, god of Geo. Simply put. Alright, achievement. Hold on. Teapot to call home. Complete a new star approaches to get the teapot. So we're in a teapot. Ah, fun.
All the way up here. <coughs> Hello, Madam Bang. Uh, all things must change. How do you do? Hmm. Youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. We're also here for something else. Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, but if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither her way. So that means these flowers... Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Was Zhang Li more concerned about the fact that you'd be making you upset with the lilies being withered? Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Qixing made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. Actually, all three would be true. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spar, well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? We'd like to borrow the cleansing bell. Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being an old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gaped, but he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. Mm -hmm. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Yep. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. We can look for it ourselves. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can... All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, yep. Do you live near here, Granny? Oh, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. <laughs> okay. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. You know, it's kind of funny because I'm assuming Traveler literally lives inside the teapot. And it's kind of funny since before then I'm pretty sure he'd just be camping constantly. How does that work? In you go. There's no way Paimon would fit in there. Oh, you could. You're a bit smaller. Maybe you can... Hey, and maybe if you're lucky, you'll be able to fit out the tea spout. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? <laughs> Youngsters, I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. Ah, uh, yes, the teapot. Touch the teapot. And here we are inside a little mini dimension or pocket dimension. Where are we? What just happened? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Okay. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is her teapot? Yes. Goodbye. Oh dear, so many cobwebs. 
It seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. It's fine. Anyway, press the button. And up a bit higher. considering she is an adeptus and basically to anything living above Not a doubt in my mind. More and more convinced that she's an adept. Don't they all live in Not necessarily. Why would she stay in the city? Fun. Oh, come on. Hello, you all. Surrendering will be gentle. Come a little closer. Blitz. And all is done. No, my sword. Rain cutter. Body and mind. Come on, this way. This way, all the way over here. There you are. Time to act. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. And button. How many levels does this teapot have? Many. It would be nice if we had one of these too. And we will be getting one. And we will be getting one, like, ran right after the Zarkon quest, and I'm going to absolutely get as much as I possibly can done to get that dealt with. Right here on the table. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. Yep. Hello, I am out, and it is night time. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. Are you an adeptus, ma'am? An adeptus? Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. So that you are. Uh, Hyman kind of knows what you mean. But is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Gran? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? You do realize she also knows that the person who pretty much asked us to go get it can only be Rex Lapis, right? Oh, don't be silly. Leoa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? 
What if your friend doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. Mm. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Yep. Since you have the bell, you should return. Thank you. Oh, and that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. Okay. We will. Thanks, Granny. Thank you. I'll be coming back for the. I'll be coming back for the TARDIS teapot. I want to end the stream at this point. It is about an hour and a half. Yeah, so I'm just going to end the stream at this point. Uh, thank you for anyone who decided to drop in and come and check out my stream. Thank you for anyone watching the video. Good day, good afternoon, good... Well, actually, be good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Whichever would apply to you best, and thank you, and goodbye.